All right, so we're back. This is part three of the A-frame project. Um, so we have our slab here for the front porch. We added some glazing and a door here on the entrance, um, an opening for our skylight. We'll add some glass there, and then we created a mass for our chimney. So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add some railing here on this front porch, leaving an opening you know, to get on and off. Um, and I want to add topography because I like to, when I bring my projects into SketchUp, I like to already have the topography with me, um, just so I don't have to create it in SketchUp. Uh, and, I, and it'll just be a basic typography, maybe a, a little slope um, in the front, and uh, we'll go from there. But first, let's go ahead and add a rail here. So let's go to level one, and let's. Okay, so we have our slab there, and in level one you can't see it, so you just VR for view range. Unlimited. Okay, so no, there goes our slab. Now, when it comes to rails, you can't, when you're creating your rail, you can't just start here, and go here, and then say, all right, I want to create an opening there, and start about right here and then finish it off and say okay it won't let you do it that way um, in that case you have to create you know a complete um, it, it can't be separated the railings can't be separated so what you need to do let's go ahead and quit here you'll have to create each piece of railing one by one that one's done we'll create another rail um, you want it to go out there and then create another one you want to keep that opening so take that about 10 foot check and finish it off here now that works and that's how you get your railing there. So we got our railing, we got our opening. Um, now let's go ahead and add some topography. And you're going to go to massing, topo surface. Uh, let's go ahead and start with zero. Um, something here. I just need something generic. Um, here, here. And if you if you want, you know, you can start to add some slope. Yeah, uh, that's good enough for me. That's all I need. I don't need any anything special or anything specific. Um, so let's just see here. So we have our topo surface. What I like to do is in the three D view you go over here to your properties box and you find section box and it brings up this guy here and what I do is I bring it in a bit just so I can get some depth let's see bring it in here bring it in here that works um, and if you see here start to see the earth um, give you some depth there and uh, just go back into your properties and find that section box where is it here it is uncheck that if you don't want to keep it and if you go into your elevations you can now see this this depth here but um so let's go back here so I want to see show you something so I was saying how I want to see the framing exposed into the earth so what we need to do is I need to move my roof up and remember when I created the roof I did a, a two foot overhang we're gonna change that so let's go to roof um, we just select roof edit footprint and see that two foot just knock that down to zero just like that do the same for the other side Now 
we should be able to see there we go there we go yeah because I want to I want to see it like protruding through the earth um, it, you know it gives it that 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 strong strength to, for me that I, I I enjoy the look um, yeah so when we render this this is going to be really really nice um, yeah show it protruding through like that um, so let me take this off here and um, all right so that's that's all for part three um, part four I'm gonna go ahead and we'll add a couple more things and then we'll move on to SketchUp and get this thing ready for a, a render get a nice realistic render going thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed thanks